Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday. So today we are going to do a shop my stash video. So I'm going to take you guys through my makeup collection and I'm going to pick out the makeup that I'm going to use for the next few weeks. Um, there's a couple different ways that I like to do this. Sometimes I like to already have the makeup picked out and I just take you through the drawers. Um, other times I like to actually go through the Alex 9 drawer with you guys and pull things out. So today I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through the Alex 9 drawer again. And I'm also going to do a really quick room tour. Um, there's not much to look at in this room. Obviously there's nothing really behind me. Most of the furniture is kind of pushed up towards this end of the room and you'll see that here in a minute. But you'll be able to kind of get a sense of the lighting that I work with this way. I get a lot of questions about that. I use windows, just two big windows that I sit in front of. So I do have to record um, during the day. I don't really do videos at night. I don't have a ring light or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe get started with the room tour really quickly. And then we will move into the shop my stash. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Okay, so um, this is this is where I sit and film. I do sit on an exercise ball. I get that question a lot. Um, all of this furniture that you see is from Ikea. It is the Alex system. I don't remember what the name of the tabletop is, but it's super easy to find. Um, you just buy the tabletop in the length that you want, and then the legs, obviously. Um, so that's that. <laughs> Those are the windows. Uh, there is no professional lighting, as you can see. Um, I just try to work with the blinds to get the lighting to look okay enough. Um, over here, I have just another um, Ikea piece that I keep some candles in. I just, I keep receipts in this and then it's just kind of filled with some random things. Nothing terribly exciting. Um, on the top I have a Scentsy warmer and then of course a luminary from Bath and Body Works um, with a candle in it because I'm kind of a crazy candle lady. Over here there is nothing except for a chair that I used to use for clients when I would do makeup. Um, I don't do makeup professionally anymore, so I don't know why I still have the chair. I just, I put it in here when we moved in and here it sits. <laughs> I do plan on actually getting a couch or like sofa for over here that turns into a like sofa bed so that when we have extra guests, we can stick them in here and have a place for them to sleep. Um, this is what you guys see behind me here. This is just a little attic storage area over there. I do have a, if you guys are ever wondering what's in this corner, this is a Jack and Jill bath that connects with Stella's bathroom. So her, there's like a toilet and a tub through here and then she has like a sink area in her room. So that's what is over here. I was washing my makeup brushes, so that's still there. As far as what's inside of this closet, it's just my backup closet, you guys. So products that I have backups of, there's more over here. These shelves are from Ikea also. They snap together. I bought multiple shelves so I could make them taller. And, um, yeah, so I just put things on there that are backups. And that's <laughs> what is in that closet. It's not crazy exciting. Um, yeah, and here is this hideous wall color. By the way, sometimes with certain lighting from the outside, because of this like yellow color on the walls, it'll make my hair look yellow for some reason. My hair is still gray. I haven't altered my hair color in any kind of way, so <laughs> there's that. Um, but let's go ahead and go through and pick out some makeup, you guys. So these are all of my single shadows here, and I'm not going to grab for any of these this time around. These are all like drugstore single eyeshadows. I'm just not interested in grabbing any right now, so I'm not going to. These are quote-unquote like higher-end 
singles. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to grab anything out of here either. For the next few weeks, I want really simple. So I think I'm just going to pick some eyeshadow palettes. So I might reach in here for like the odd single shadow if I want it, but there's nothing that I really want out of here right now. Okay. Um, these are just some backups of some brow powders and some different types of pencils and liquid shadows and backups of mascaras. I don't need anything out of this drawer either. So, so far this is going pretty quickly. Um, I do have some eyeshadow palettes in here, which is why I opened this drawer. So I think I'm going to grab the Lorac Mega Pro 4. And I think I'm also going to grab the Mega Pro 3. So I'm going to get both of these Lorac Pro eyeshadows out. Um, this is my blush drawer. I'm going to try to just grab like a few random things out of here. Um, I think I'm just going to like randomly grab these. <laughs> these are just some Tarte eyeshadows, not eyeshadows, blushes, sorry. Um, I'm going to grab some of these Physicians Formula products. Um, I think I'm going to grab these too. Actually, I really like these and I haven't used them in a while. I don't know if they're available. This might not be a good move in terms of like mentioning them in weekly favorites, but they're the brunettes and the blondes. I don't think this collection's still available, but I really like them and I haven't used them in a while. So I'm going to set those over there. Um, let's see here. What else? Maybe I should do palettes as well for blushes. Yeah, I've got some palettes and stuff I need to use in here. So um, I'm going to grab this hourglass one. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Um, what is this? Oh, that's the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzing one. Um, let's see. What else? <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's a highlight and contour palette. I don't need that. Maybe... Ugh, I hate to do this. I always get flack for still using these things, but this is a MAC blush palette that I've had for a really long time. Maybe I'll pull this out and use it. I might as well if I have it. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and also grab a different bronzer, and this is the Laura Geller one. This is really nice, so I'm going to grab that, and I think that's going to be it for this. Oops. You go down. There you go. What's in this drawer? Okay. We don't need anything out of here because this is all um, like powder foundations, different types of powders and stuff. I'm going to show you guys what I'm keeping. I already separated those products out. What I'm keeping from the last Shop My Stash. So don't need anything out of here. So more eyeshadow palettes. I think that I might grab the Modern Renaissance. I've kind of been craving that one for a reason. So I'm gonna grab Modern Renaissance. I'm gonna grab the Bon Bons palette from Too Faced and one more, since I don't have any singles. Um, Oh, I have not used this in a long time. How about we do some original Naked from Urban Decay? All right, let's do it. There's that. And then this will be a fun drawer. Lips. <laughs> what? Let me adjust myself here. What do I want to grab out of here? So I think I want to start using... I've really enjoyed using the other two that I've had out, but these are some Cora's lip butters. So I have pomegranate, quince, and mango. So I think I'm gonna grab those three. Um, should I do some drugstore lipsticks? Uh, again, these are L'Oreal. Um, I don't buy from L'Oreal anymore, but I might as well use these and try to use them up. These are just some 
This is Jennifer's nude and Julianne's nude. I can't even remember the collection Privé. When did that come out? I have no idea, but I might as well use those. Um, what else do I want? Oh, that's kind of pretty. This is a Color Luster lip gloss from Laura Geller in the color Stra Strawberry Creme. That's really pretty. That's fun for summer. Um, ooh, Glacé. So this is a Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade Glacé. This is really pretty. I haven't used this in a while. Um, how about a Physician's Formula Butter Gloss? This might be a little bit too deep for what I'm looking for this time of year. Um, how about Madeira? This is another Bite Beauty pencil that's kind of a pretty nude. Feeling the nudes right now, the light nudes. That's a Marcel gloss. Um, how about these guys? Peony and Poppy from, these are the 100% pure uh, fruit pigmented pomegranate oil anti-aging lipsticks. <laughs> Always use some anti-aging on the old lips. Um, what else? Ooh, I need to grab these. I love them. The Marc Jacobs Enamored Glosses. I really like these a lot. So I'm going to grab all the ones that are there. <laughs> so Skin Deep, Pretty Thing, and Sugar Sugar are the shades that I have here. These are just really pretty and easy to wear. And how about these Hourglass? Uh, lipsticks, so Futurist and number, Nude Number 6. So I'll grab both of those as well. That's a pretty good selection right there, right? Should I put anything else in there? Maybe a couple more drugstore. How about some cruelty-free drugstore? Um, Creamy Nude from Essence. This is no longer still available, but I really like it. Um, is this Creamy Nude again? Yep. And then maybe... Come naturally. Is this one still readily available? Yeah. Oh, shoot. There we go. Yeah, I think I'll grab that one. So that's a couple of Essence lipsticks there. I think that's pretty good selection right there. And then let's go really quickly through what I'm keeping from the last go around. Let me just stand up here. Okay, so the Hourglass Blush in Dim Infusion, um, NYX uh, Blush and Taupe. Still trying to finish this, the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. I'm doing good. I'm thinking within the next two months, this will definitely be gone, so I'm gonna keep working on it. Um, that's a brown pencil, that belongs over there. Um, my two Laura Geller powder foundations in Porcelain and Fair, I like to mix those. This is just a finishing powder from Becca, and then I'm testing the Cover FX Mineral Pressed Powder out. My two SPFs are the Sun Forgettable from Color Science and the Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense from Paula's Choice. There's another primer down here, the Tatcha Perfect Canvas. And then some other primers here, Silk, sorry, the Ren Perfect Canvas and then the, what's that called? Velvet Blurring Primer. <laughs> Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I like the highlighter on this Wander Beauty situation here. The Glotion is a bit too much for me right now, but I can use that actually on my legs. Um, and in here are different mascaras and some brow pencils I'm using currently. The one that I'm testing right now is the Brow Power for my cosmetics. And then there's a Lash Boss from Laura Geller. This is a mascara, obviously. A Polish Choice. This is my last backup. I'm sad to be using it. They don't make it anymore. Fantastic Lash from Paula's Choice. I wish they'd bring this back. Um, my Holy Grail Brow Powder. Tarte Amazonian Clay in Gray. It's their volumizing brow powder. Sorry, my camera just... This is my camera, guys. It is just a point and shoot from Nikon. Why is this not... Show? Yeah, it's just a point and shoot from Nikon. That's it. I don't use a fancy camera. There's no fancy setting on it. It's just the regular whatever setting from the box. So... And yeah, the Lash Topia Mascara, and that's just some different brow products that I'm just finishing up. So that's everything. Um, so I'm going to clean out these two drawers here, which is where I keep all these products for every day. So these are all going to go away. 
and we'll replace it with the new stuff. So, yay! <laughs> I've been craving some different makeup, so it is about time for this to happen. Anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.